Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Imran Mir. In this audio visual presentation, I will discuss copy platform which is used by copywriter to create the ad copy and it is used by art director to design the ad. Copy platform. Copy a platform is a written plan or checklist that provides background information which helps copywriter in writing the ad copy and it helps our director in designing the ad. It specifies the basic elements of the creative strategy. The creative strategy is an outline prepared by creative team of an ad agency that includes copywriter, creative director, art director, and representatives from media planning and research. The creative strategy generally explains how the advertising campaign will meet the advertising objectives of the business. From the client side, advertising manager, brand manager or marketing manager approves the copy platform. Copy platform is also known as creative platform or work plan, creative brief, creative blueprint or creative contract. Copy platform varies from ad agency to ad agency. Generally, it contains following information. One, the problem which advertising is expected to address. Usually, it is written in the form of a statement. For example, 10% decline in sales during last six months. Two, advertising objective. It is the goal that advertising is expected to achieve. For example, persuading the audience to buy the company's product so that declining trend in sales can be stopped or reversed. 3. Description of product. It's a quick overview of the product, its features and benefits. 4. Description of the target audience. It is a brief overview of the needs and characteristics of target audience. 5. An assessment of competition that includes assessment of rival offerings and advertising campaigns, especially in case of comparative advertising. Six, the key customer benefit. It is the most distinctive benefit that a company's product offers to the target audience. Seven, support for the key benefit. It is an explanation for how the key benefit works. Eight, the selling strategy. A unique benefit provided by a company which makes it different than the competitors. 9. The selling style. There are two types of selling styles which can be used in an ad, hard sell and soft sell. The unique characteristic of hard sell is it put pressure on the buyer to buy now. For example, time limit to benefit from an offer is mentioned in the ad. Or in hard selling style, an advertiser promises that his product is greatest. The unique characteristic of soft sell is that it aims at the customer motivation and slowly creates a desire in consumer for the product. On your screen, you can see two print ads. In the first ad, hard selling style has been applied. In the second ad, soft selling style has been used. Then, advertising appeal. Advertising appeals. Every successful ad works because it makes an effective appeal to some need or desire in the people who view a television commercial or read a print ad or listen to a radio ad. Or you may say, behind every successful ad, there is an effective advertising appeal. Advertising appeal is an attempt to draw a connection between the product being advertised and some need or desire that audience feeds. Through this connection, advertiser tries to convince audience that this is the product that will satisfy your need or meet your desire. There are two types of advertising appeals, logical appeal and emotional appeal. Logical appeal aims for buyer's hat, whereas emotional appeal aims for buyer's heart. 
In case of logical appeal, an advertiser tries to sell the product based on its performance, features or its ability to solve a problem. On the other hand, in case of emotional appeal, an advertiser attempts to sell a product based on the satisfaction that comes from purchasing a product and then owning or giving that product as a gift. On your screen, you can see two print ads. The first print ad is related to logical advertising appeal, whereas in case of second print ad, emotional advertising appeal has been applied. Being an advertiser, one should make sure that emotional appeal is tied to the product being advertised. It's not enough just to arouse a feelings of friendship, love or security. An advertiser needs to make sure that the emotions or feelings of target audience are being connected to the purchase decision. Otherwise, the ad will be an exercise in feeling, not selling. Most common advertising appeals Price and value appeal By using price and value appeal, an advertiser promises the target audience that if they buy the advertised product, they will get more for their money. It is one of the most common and effective advertising appeal. It can be applied in several ways. For instance, an advertiser can lower the product price and inform the target audience about the new price. Advertiser can keep the price same as rival brands or competitors but offer more benefits. Or advertiser can keep the price and benefits same and convince the target audience that the product is worth whatever price is being charged. On your screen you can see a print ad in which price and value appeal has been applied. Quality appeal. By using appeal to quality, an advertiser promises the target audience that they are going to get best quality product for their money. However, appeal to quality only works if product possesses the right level of quality and company has a long history of producing quality products. People have seen quality claims so many times in advertising. They have become skeptical about quality claims. So if an advertiser wants to use quality appeal in advertising, he should make sure that right kind of support is available. For example, long history of producing quality products. On your screen, you can see a print ad of a soft drink company. Quality appeal has been used in this ad. This company has a long history of producing quality products worldwide. Star or celebrity appeal. The public's fascination with superstars, public figures, athletes, and entertainers is the foundation of celebrity endorsement in ads. People like to be identified with their favorite stars and will therefore be positively influenced by a star's appearance in an ad. The presence of a star can also catch the audience's attention when they are flipping through magazines or through television channels. You can see a print ad of a coffee brand on your screen in which star appeal has been applied. Testimonial appeal. In case of testimonial appeal, real users or celebrities can be used to sell the message. In testimonial appeal, celebrity or real user discusses his or her experience with the product. They may discuss the benefits of the product or compare it with the competing products. If skillfully executed, testimonial appeal is 
very powerful as message is coming from assets for user not from the advertiser you can see a print ad of a coffee brand on your screen in which testimonial appeal has been applied ego appeal many consumers are open to appeal to their ego whether the appeal relates to a physical appearance intellectual sense or any other real or imagined personal quality an example of ego appeal is i am worth it ego appeal happens in private so it works without embarrassing the audience on your screen you can see the print ad of an automobile brand in which ego appeal has been applied fear and anger appeal they are extreme emotional appeals they should be applied carefully they can annoy the audience there are two options available to apply fear and anger appeals in advertising advertiser can either increase the fear and anger of the audience or they can reduce the fear or anger of the audience on your screen you can see two print ads in which fear appeal has been applied and you can see a print ad in which anger appeal has been applied sensory appeal many ads attempt to attract one or more of the five senses of audience taste touch vision smell or hearing on your screen you can see the print ad of a fast food company in which sensory appeal has been applied sex love and social acceptance through these appeals advertiser promises the audience that if they use advertised product they will get reward from personal interaction ranging from social acceptance friendship love and sensual reward these appeals are used in a wide range of products such as shampoos soap deodorants perfumes lotions etc on your screen you can see some print ads in which these appeals have been applied subliminal ad appeal ads in which the decoding is supposed to happen subconsciously through the use of visual symbols sub audio messages or visual messages it means audience does not pay conscious attention to the hidden message in the ad but subconscious part of the memory processes that hidden message subliminal appeals are used both in television commercials and in print ads on your screen you can see a few print ads in which subliminal appeal has been applied novelty appeal in case of novelty appeal advertisers present their product a bizarre or unique way to the audience it's used to break the clutter on your screen you can see a few print ads in which novelty appeal has been applied This was today's topic of discussion please subscribe like and share this video Allah Hafiz